relish on her burger. Welcome back, Pizza Mafia, to yet another thrilling episode of Why the Hell Are We Still Watching This? So, after a wild weekend of who knows what, our girl foodie is back with a brand new masterpiece titled Can't Sleep, Too Hungry, Weight Loss Struggles. Oh, you know this one's going to be dripping with sympathy bait. I mean, obviously, it's tradition at this point, right? Say something vile one day, reel in the pity the next. A classic, truly. We kick things off with Foodie rocking a sleep mask, telling us that this is what I wear when I sleep during the day. Groundbreaking stuff. Only problem is, she then admits she's not even sure why she's wearing it, since, surprise, she couldn't sleep. And the reason she couldn't sleep, she was hungry. Like, girl, imagine how your cats felt when you would disappear on one of your little natter field trips, leaving them with empty bowls. But sure, tell us more about how you are starving, because that's obviously the real tragedy here. She's out here mumbling in that weird low voice, trying to keep a straight face because, hey, staying on script is hard when you're busy fishing for sympathy. Meanwhile, she's half-heartedly folding laundry, acting like she deserves a medal for not inhaling multiple packs of ramen noodles. Thanks for the update, sis. We'll be sure to alert the press. Now, don't get me wrong, binge eating disorder is real, and it's a genuine struggle for a lot of people. But when it comes to foodie, it's giving cash grab disguised as vulnerability. At this point, she knows she needs actual professional help and just chooses not to but hey why fix the problem when you can monetize it next up she drops some math on us brace yourselves apparently she's on a calorie deficit now going from over 3,000 calories a day to only 2,000 wow inspiring stuff uh, Dr. Now says, says 1,200? Nonsense. Foodie has her own science, people. She's got it all figured out. And then, surprise, surprise, the whining continues. But wait, there's more. She casually teases that she might go live again soon. I feel personally attacked at this point. Weren't you on a mental health break, sis? Blink twice if you need help. Oh, but the fun doesn't stop there. She also announces a brand new Timu haul. Because what's a sympathy stream without a little shopping spree flex? Apparently, she bought a GoPro and some pillows. I mean, a GoPro from Timu? That's a choice. But whatever happened to your rich husband, girl, can't he spring for something that wasn't made under questionable labor practices? Speaking of Timu, yeah, they've been called out for shady stuff, including ties to slave labor. But Foodie? Totally unbothered. Morals? Nah, those don't fit into her cart. Just another reason why she stays on my shit list. Anyway... The stream finally ends with her vanishing to do probably nothing productive. She returns later for a live stream, ta-da, which we will reca recap in a different video. And just like that, we are free for the little time in between the video and the live. That's it for today, Pizza Mafia. Stay safe out there. Try not to roll your eyes too hard, okay? And I'll catch you in the next one. I haven't been just drunk in forever. You miss